guys i know i'm sitting in this chair looking like a boss or something but no i'm at the hotel still here in austin i thought i would do this q a finally you guys have been waiting for it so i'm gonna do this real quick before tg gets here and then he interrupts my whole mojo my whole flow of everything but i have a feeling he might walk in when I, while i'm doing this but we're just gonna get started right now sorry if i'm looking over here and my laptop is here hello laptop <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna read you guys this question. Right, so first question is from Peshku. She says, first off, thanks for being you. I really enjoy your content on both channels. You definitely play a role in inspiring me to start my own channel. My question is, what keeps you motivated to, making, to keep making videos? Is it the pay, the creativity, both? So I think that for me, I've always loved making videos and just editing and doing all that stuff because like even when i was younger i used to be miss paparazzi like people used to know me as miss paparazzi i always had like a digital camera snapping pictures taking pictures and i would create like little movie slideshow things on movie maker and stuff like that so i've always been on that side of youtube i would say like the creative like editing type of side yeah so that is definitely one of my passions so it's fun for me i love doing that and i just continue to do it obviously meeting you people meeting you people meeting new people like you guys my subscribers my supporters just having that like backbone and people here and people asking me can you make this video can you make this video can you make this video i love to do that stuff so it's fun for me and then of course yes the pay just doing what you love and getting paid like nothing beats that so christina fleming asks are you in school or working or is youtube 100 percent your life uh i want to say 100 percent my life but is it like where I get most of my income from? Yes, it is. Are, am I in school? No, I already graduated. Graduated in social work. Um, and am I working? No, YouTube is my job. So a couple of people asked me about my nameplate necklace. I will leave the link down below with my coupon code. It is from Be Happy Live Pink. So Nakia Rodriguez, hey girl, you always comment on my videos, so gotta say hey. Um, As what inspired you to do YouTube? Will you and TG ever have a cha YouTube channel together? So I kind of already talked about what inspired me to do it, just always being into cameras and editing and stuff like that. And then um, wanting to share my journey, my hair journey with other people because I've seen girls like You Love Megs, Tara Guy start. And I was like, hey, I want to do this too. Two things together and it just blew up. Um, and will me and TG ever have a channel together? Yes, we talked about this. Most likely we will. I don't know when, maybe soon, maybe later. But yes, we plan to for now. Seda Dimon asks, what is your favorite thing about being a YouTuber? Do you have any other talents? My favorite thing about being a YouTuber is being able to do what I love anywhere in the entire world and still get paid for it. I think that's the number one thing because I love traveling. You guys know that. So I can be in India. I can be in Jamaica. I can be here in Austin and do what I love to do and still make money from it. So I think that's one of my favorite things. And then my second favorite is um, meeting you guys and just making new friends and just interacting with you guys. I think it's so much fun. And, you know, I just read through the comments and just laughing to myself at, you know, everybody's opinions and everybody's just comments. I just, I love you guys. Most of you guys. <laughs> so Monique Walker asks, what is your skincare routine? Um, I just posted a skincare routine. I will link that down below if you guys are interested. So LB asks, what other interests do you have outside of YouTube? Do you paint, sing, dance, like books? Girl, I'm nosy. Uh, I don't sing, don't dance, don't read. Um, but I would say another talent that I have or interest is being in love with sports. Like I love playing sports. I don't really do it on the daily. Like if I could and people actually want to play with me, I consider myself an athlete and I'm very competitive. So anything, if there's a time where my girls are down to play volleyball, soccer, boxing, basketball, anything like that, like I'm down. Like I love sports. I love playing sports. Don't really like watching it, like playing it. So Trill Ash individual says, yes. Hello from Toronto as well. Six sad. Literally, you are my favorite YouTuber because you are real. Hey, 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 girl. Shout out to my Toronto ladies. My question for you is, we all know you love to travel, so what steps do you take when you're planning your trip? Example, saving money, taking time off work, hotel reviews, I'm curious. So when it comes to saving money, um, I don't really save for trips. I do not save for trips. I just save in general. Every check 
I save money and then obviously being a youtuber you get paid so randomly you get paid like maybe four times a month five times a month it just varies so like sometimes I'll just put like a whole check to my savings two three whole checks to my savings and I save pretty much every single time I get a check so I don't save towards trips I just save in general and then when I want to go on a trip I have the money right there so don't really save to go on a trip if you can save just save in general and then when you do want to go on a trip um, you don't really have to struggle to be like okay every month I'm gonna put in $50 every month I'm gonna put in $100 you know you already have the money right there so if you're blessed enough to do that I do suggest just saving in general so when you do want to go somewhere you got the money so taking time off work I don't have to do that hotel reviews okay so when I'm going out with my friends I usually let them do all that work so I'm usually fine with whatever they pick because I know that that I'm because I'm with them I'm gonna have fun anyway so I don't really look into all that like of course when they send me the link I'll look I'm like oh yeah that's cool that's cool Yeah. yeah when it comes to hotel reviews like I do go on I don't really go to the website of the of the hotel I actually go on like Travelocity I think it's Travelocity you don't have a review of this hotel? no I go on Travelocity and then I um, put in the hotel name and then those are like actual real pictures that real people took and they show like all the nasty things they show the good things so I like to use that site to check out different reviews and stuff like that <laughs> hey Nana asked when will you make an updated fitness health routine because your body is always looking right girl I'm fat no but um, I don't work out right now I yeah I work out before I go on trips and that's it <laughs> Ruth Ann asks what are some of your goals for 2017 my goals for 2017 is to save a lot a lot a lot a lot of money and to travel more and more and more and more but obviously if I do if I obviously if I'm traveling a lot saving won't really work out that way but those are like my two goals yeah and be nicer to everybody because I'm very snappy and I can be very rude so I think to be nicer to people and not just like if somebody asks me a question I just don't like snap on them because that's what I do to my sister to my boyfriend it's really bad. Debbie A asks, when are you and TG planning to move in together? Oh. Uh, me no know. Me no know. Me no know. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully soon. Princess Caribou one asks, what's the best date you've been on with TG? What has been our best date, do you think? I think for me, one of my best dates was going to no 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 Kima 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 boardwalk I had so much fun oh there gosh. going on all the rides I, I cried of going like on some of the rides with him because he was so scared like literally I had so much tears coming out of my eyes it was such like a fun free-spirited you know date that yeah that was one of my favorite what about you I like to cherish every moment how did that sound? Lame. I like the improv, though. Know? The first date? No. The second one? Who did we go see the second time at the improv? I don't know, but we were far in the back that time, remember? Oh, yeah. What, what about our date when we went to get massages? Oh, yeah, that's the best date ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, K Nari asks, when starting out on YouTube, do you recommend signing any contracts, such as full screen or... Are sponsorships alone a great way to start? I have personally never signed to any um, network like Full Screen, Style Hall, any of those um, people because I've always been so scared like to just sign my whole YouTube channel away. I did everything by myself. I would recommend not signing with them, especially as a small YouTuber. And if it's not in your contract, it's not going to happen. So yeah and sponsorships i guess are the best way to start there's different um programs like famebit and grapevine which help people who have like small amount of youtubers get paid for posting videos so lamika 03s when you move will you have a roommate if i have a roommate the only roommate that i'll have is my husband tg 
<laughs> Other than that, if I ever move, I'm living by myself. There's no way I'm having a roommate. Sorry. Naturally Curly Chaos asks, Hey Nisi, my question for you is how did you promote your channel to get so many subscribers when you first started out? Do you believe that you need to have social media like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook to be a successful YouTuber? I started out by going on sites like Kiss um, and Hair Lisa, they were both hair sites and people asked me to post like videos about how I did certain styles to my hair and that's pretty much how my audience grew because I used to make like tutorials about hair and post it on those sites and then a lot of people from those sites watched and I guess it got shared and it just blew up from there. And then I, yes, I definitely think that you need to have like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter because it's just easier to share your stuff. So once one person sees it, a bunch of other people are gonna see it and then it's, it's good for promoting yourself. I just think that if you have those things, that your views and your subscribers and all of that will most likely go up. So Ashley Robinson asks, how would you handle your boyfriend's friends and family finding you unattractive? That's such an odd question. <laughs> like you know your girlfriend's ugly, right? <laughs> um, you like, yeah. I don't know. I think I would be. I don't know. Would That's so weird. I would feel. Shy. Yeah, I think I would be very uncomfortable if they actually if they thought that, and I probably wouldn't surround myself around them. All right. So the last question I'm going to answer is from Zanny. She says, "Hey Nisi, my question is, what advice do you have for college students who are trying to travel on a budget as well as saving money for trips? Sending my love from New York. New York fan. What up?" <laughs> So students who are trying to travel, I would just say try to save as much money as possible. Try to cut back on probably eating out and stuff like that. If you're really trying to travel and you're a college student, you have to really just cut back on a lot of things. Now, whether that's eating out a lot, going out, um, stuff like that. You just got to cut back and just put money aside to travel and just save a good amount of money. So you're able to do that. I would say start out small if you live in America. Um, go to different states. You can go to Vegas. You can go to um, anywhere. You can go to LA. Just certain spots in um, the states that are like popping and that you always want to go to. And also look into all inclusive trips um, that are also affordable. I think affordable ones would be hmm, like Mexico, Puerto Rico. Those are good options when you're when you're starting out with all inclusives oh also dominican republic those are very um more affordable vacations um that you can get a good price for so look into that try not to go all out and get the biggest nicest most beautiful hotel like sometimes you just gotta start small you might have to go to a three star a 3.5 star just make sure they have no bed bugs or no nasty stuff all in the room but yeah sometimes you just got to do that like even when me and my girls went to cuba like 11 girls we paid only 800 dollars 800 dollars all inclusive free drinks free food everything our flight was included and we stayed at a 3.5 star or three star hotel and we had an amazing time but it's just because we were with a great group of people that it really didn't matter to us. As long as we had somewhere to sleep at night, the food was all right, like we were we were good because the beach was beautiful, everything was just worth it in the end. So I think um, if you are a college student and you wanna travel and you're trying to save, save as much as you can and just try to um, you know, travel within your means, whether that's being in your country or just trying to find a cheaper alternative to travel internationally, which would be like, you know, all inclusive vacations where you don't have to pay for food and pay for all these other different things all right so i think that's all the questions that i'm going to answer today if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you guys have any more questions i will um, do another q a soon so you can leave it down below um, i love you guys and i'll see you guys all in the next vlog yeah guys it should be a sin to for me to record where i am again but I'm at freaking IHOP again. Oh. Clearly somebody's pregnant here yeah. and it ain't me.